In this video, we are going to look at one of the problems under dimensional analysis and we have been given this uh, gas law equation which is P plus A over V squared uh, in brackets so this times V minus B is equal to RT so this is uh, a constant so determine the dimensions and the units of A, B and V not P is equal to pressure and B is equal to volume. Now, we are going to find this. We know, <clears throat> let's look at the solutions. We know from the principle of homogeneity that what you can add or subtract must give you, what you must get must have the same dimensions with what you added or subtracted. So by so doing, we have um, this one. In fact, we can begin by this. We can begin by the first one since we know that this is V and V is volume and this is V. So we have V minus V. In terms of dimensions, V is equal to is equal to B. But from the three basic quantities that we consider in dimensional analysis. It's mass, M, then we have length, L, and time, T. These are the basic quantities that we work with, in fact, on which everything that we do with dimensional analysis will just be uh, looking at these three. So we have this one. So for volume, we know that the dimensions for volume it is L times L times L which will give us L to the power 3. So these are the dimensions. Now L, it is length and this one, the length, the units for length, it is meters. So units, so volume in terms of units, it will be cubic meter or meters. M to the power three, which is the meter times meter times meter. So this one, B equal to m to the power 3. In terms of dimensions, v is equal to l raised to the third power. So, this is the answer to this. Now, let us proceed. This one also from the principle of homogeneity. If this P plus A over B squared are added, they must have the same dimensions. So in terms of dimensions, we can equate them A over B squared. But we want uh, to have A, so we can just cross multiply and we are going to have A is equal to P B squared. But we are told to say pressure, uh, P is equal to pressure. We are told to say P is pressure. P is pressure and the pressure is force over area. Force is mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration. So we have MA over area. So this is simply L squared. And in terms of dimensions, we have this one, it is mass. Then acceleration, it is meter per second squared. So it is L per second squared. Then we have this one, which is L squared. So from this, we are able to see that this and this will cancel. And what we're going to have for pressure is we're going to have 
m t to the power negative 2 over l so this is the, an expression for the dimensions uh, for pressure which can be also be written as m l t to the power negative 2 now we have also for volume volume it is l times l times l which will give us l to the power 3 and if we get this and this and this we put them into this one we're going to have so for pressure we have m m okay then l negative one t to the power negative two times l to the power three Okay, this so L to the power 3 squared. So this one, what we're going to get is we're going to get L, L to the power negative 1, T to the power negative 2, then L to the power 6. So since L has a the common base for L, this one and this one, we're going to add the power. So A is equal to M L minus one plus six. What we're going to get is we have M L to the power five G to the power negative two. So these are the dimensions for A. Now, in terms of units, this is going to be, so this is mass in kilograms, then length to the power 5 per second squared. So this is how this question must be answered. And for B, B, the units and the dimensions for B must be equal to the same uh, to the units for, for this. So A B is equal to B, which is equal to M to the power 3. In terms of dimensions, it is just L to the power 3, like this. It is just L to the power 3, like this. So this is how this question must be answered. Thank you so much for today.